Welcome. Today we're going to show you how to download from the web browser on a Isonic system. So at first you go to your DVR and log in. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to see that there's two different types of options for playback. Uh, so this is for downloading what you've already recorded. So when you're in the playback menu, uh, you're going to have two different types. There's a, uh, a download direct option. It downloads large batches of files, or you can download individual. So uh, the first thing you need to do, you need to find what time the footage that you're looking for is. So you pull up the camera, you choose it on the list at the bottom there saying this is the time I want. If it's on motion, it's really easy to find like a short clip. Uh, or if you're looking for something longer, continuous can sometimes do that. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit this download button in the bottom right. With the download button, you're going to be able to search individual files. So you choose the camera that you want. Uh, we're choosing camera one, for instance. Then you're going to get to choose your start and end time. So to choose your start time, you choose the date. You choose the time, so we'll say 12. Uh, 10 is when we want to start looking for clips, and we'll have that go to an end time, uh, which time you want to end that look. So we'll do say 12, 15, that gives us a specific period of time. And once we do that, you're going to see that it downloads directly, it shows you all the clips that match that time frame. So we're looking at, you know, just this clip here, it's going from 12, 11 to 12, 25, 12, 11, 25. You hit download, quick and easy, it's downloaded. Now this is the best for uh, motion recording. If you're recording continuous, then you'll probably want to go to download by date. This is only on the newer machines uh, from pretty much uh, June of 2018. So with this option, you can, uh, again, similar to the other one, you choose your start and end time. But what this does is it auto downloads uh, the file that matches that, uh, and it will sort of cut it. So if it goes over, it will cut that file down a little bit shorter. Please be aware that as well, if you choose a time that doesn't have a clip, it will fail. So you need to make sure that you've chosen a time. I didn't do that because I uh, I wanted to show this, but uh, if you had chosen like 15, for instance, there's a clip that at least matches in that time frame. And so we'll be able to use that when we're trying to download and it will succeed. Uh, so that was option one. Uh, the second option that you've got there is to just clip right out of the video feed. So with this one, all you have to do, click the little start clipping scissors down there. It starts recording exactly what you see and it will start to download it to your computer. Uh, you'd have to click it again to end that clip. Uh, this is really good for continuous recording because you, it's harder to get a clip out of continuous recording. So this is a really easy way to get that, but you have to sit there and watch it the whole time. Now, to find your video recording location, you're going to have to open up your file explorer. You're going to have to go to your PC. Uh, from your PC, you're going to want to go to the C drive. And then go to users. Go to your user account and go to the web folder. In the web folder, you'll see that you've got a couple different options, download files, playback files, those are the two you're going to use mostly, or playback pictures if you took a picture. It'll be itemized by date, and then you can choose the file. Uh, I do recommend that you use VLC player. Uh, it plays almost everything, and it's a very simple pro program to run, and it will bring up the video. Uh, it doesn't include every sort of feature, but it is very simple and it works on both Windows and Mac. So all you have to do is remember to use VLC player and it will go from file to file. Uh, so that, that was what we downloaded. You can also go to playback files, same sort of thing. It gives you by your date that you downloaded it on and then you can open it up and boom, that file becomes there. So it's very simple and easy to use. And that's all you really need to do to uh, access your playback video.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, click like. If you want to see more, click subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.